The Enron scandal that rocked the markets in late 2001 is considered one of the biggest financial scams in world history. And now, the mega fraud by Indian IT giant Satyam, dubbed as India's Enron, has brought to focus the need for corporate governance in the country, as this scam has laid bare the system's failure. Industry heads believe more efforts are needed to ensure that laws are all-inclusive and provide timely justice. Laws should be simple. And um, as far as implementation and their repercussion is concerned, it, the certainty of punishment is more important than the severity of it. And while Satyam remains the villain, there are many who want the auditing firms to be equally liable and brought to justice. Leading from the front is a city-based organization, the Investors' Grievance Forum, that has filed a criminal case against Satyam Promoters and its auditors, PricewaterhouseCoopers, under the various sections of Indian Penal Code. We want not the signatory, but the whole Pricewaterhouse should be debarred and their property should be freeze because they are knowingly doing, doing the thing, because 7,000 or 5,000 crore of bank balance or cash balance is not a thing okay, which anybody can ignore. While Satyam's ex-chairman, Ramalinga Raju, owned up to his guilt, this latest episode of the corporate undoing has brought in an air of disrepute to India Inc. So while corporate India continues to expand in size and stature, investors would hope that corporate governance is respected in letter and also in spirit. Even as Satyam strives to get back to business, for the ones who have lost their money and confidence in the company, it's a nightmare they'll have to live through. And as Indian industry strives to ensure that corporate governance becomes a significant attribute in encouraging investments in India, there are challenges that need to be overcome. Rana Koteja, NewsX, Mumbai.